Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you uh, a different way about how you show your plots. So, so far in my videos if you have seen as well as other tutorials you might have seen that we have been using percentage mat plot live in line as one of the ways to show the plots in line to your command. So that really helps in terms of viewing the plot. But what if, if you want to make it more interactive, things like you may want to zoom it or do the selection on the chart. Well, in that case, uh, you just need to basically change this, this inline to something called notebook. That's it. So once you change it to a notebook, what it does is basically it converts a normal chart, a static chart into an interactive chart. So let's see it in, in action. So here we have percentage matplotlib uh, notebook and uh, let's go ahead and import matplotlib.pyplot as PLD like always. Let's specify x value, maybe some random value, right? And some random value for y. 17 simply say plt dot plot say x comma y and plt dot show and here we are well here is our chart a simple line chart based on some random values and if you see it has this uh, stop interaction uh, button that way you can stop the interaction but if you go down a little bit you will find a couple of icons like home, back, forward, and then pan axis, like it is indicating it over here on the right side, that pan axis with left mouse, zoom with right, and then you have zoom and save to download the plot. So what it is, is basically if I go and click on the zoom, I get this cursor with plus sign now, and I can zoom it, only this part. So now my this part is zoomed and if I want I can use this pan axis icon and I can change it and I can you know move up down left and right to view the desired data. This is really helpful in cases like scatter chart where you are producing or you are showing a lot of data points on the on the chart and you want to zoom it on a particular section and then use the pan this pan option to basically move up down left or right on the chart to better analyze it once you are done with it you can come to home to basically come back to your original chart as well as based on whatever interaction you have done with the help of zoom and this pan up pan button you can use back and forward based on those actions and uh, see what you had done earlier or you want to move forward then you can move forward also so that's about how you can make your chart interactive and hope this tip is useful for you